On the day of the race in Blenheim, I think we were both in a, in a very good frame of mind. We all assemble uh, at the lakeside and we had a briefing uh, about safety and it was quite jovial and relaxing. Then we all walked to the pontoon and I lowered myself into the water. It wasn't particularly cold. I let some into my wetsuit to uh, acclimatise and then the hoot of blue and, and off we went. I saw I guess into the water. And as far as I was aware, that was going to be complete in 20 minutes and I would see her again at that point. Despite being the first and shortest part in the triathlon, the swimming leg is the most dangerous. I set off quite happily, but it was only a few minutes into the swim where I became aware of a very strong headache at the sort of the back of my neck and quite quickly realised that I was really struggling to, to breathe. It was just so completely out of the blue. That, that was the unnerving thing about it. I lifted my hand for assistance. Um, a canoeist was very quickly with me and I held on to the boat, hoping that I would just uh, recover and get my breath back. I'm pretty stubborn. So I decided that I was definitely going to finish the swim, which took a very long time. I was coughing. Uh, I could feel fluid coughing up into my mouth, which didn't taste very nice. But um, I persisted and uh, did actually climb out of the lake at the end of the swim. She was extremely bubbly in, in the chest, clearly lots of fluid in her lungs. Breathing very difficult. The on-site medical team had suspicions that this could be a rare condition, but initial investigations pointed towards a heart attack. I didn't know what had happened to her. However, cardiac tests proved inconclusive. It was definitely a bit of a mystery and um, a lot of uncertainty as to what it might have been. Five days later, Linda was discharged without diagnosis. After five weeks with no symptoms, Linda was ready to get back to her fitness regime and decided to try her first open water swim since the triathlon. OK. Yeah, ready to go. Keith was going for an open water swim, so I thought I too would go open water swimming, but just poodle around the lake in a, in a very undemanding fashion. I had no reason to, to feel that it might happen again. So I got in and I started off. I felt absolutely fine. So I swam out to the first boy and felt so good. I thought I'd proceed on to the next boy. And I was halfway there when suddenly, again, I couldn't breathe. And it was quite terrifying to be out in the middle of a lake. And there were no safety canoes this time. I realised I was really struggling and was feeling very, very vulnerable indeed, um, and started shouting. Help! She thought she was drowning. She was drowning. Help! 